Kreis. Good morning, Cougars! It's Friday, October 18th. It's day three. I'm Abby. And I'm Isabella. And here are your morning announcements. Any girls interested in playing hockey or ringette this year, go to Lab 225 Thursday, October 22nd at lunch. Abby, are you interested in science? Yeah, I am. Do you want to become a health professional? Yeah, I do. You should definitely come to HOSA's interest meeting today at lunch in room 207 to learn more about HOSA's competition and the annual trip to Toronto. Students interested in curling should meet today at lunch in room 161. Attention grade 12s, grad photos are going to take place on November 11th to the 14th. Make sure to go to edgeimaging.ca to sign up for the time slot that works best for you. Volleyball intramurals have already started. Make sure to go watch on days 1, 2, and 3 in the gym. If you're a player, check the schedule on the board outside the gym and make sure to keep checking your emails. If you are interested in learning more about the Skilled Trades program at Algonquin College, there will be an Algonquin College open house on November 6th from 9 to 12. Buses will leave from Colonel By. See Mr. Shea or Miss Story to pick up your permission form. There's an interest meeting for the lacrosse club on Thursday next week at lunch in room 159. Boys and girls are welcome to attend. Attention all students. On Wednesday, October 23rd, during second period, each grade is doing something different, so make sure to listen right now to know where you need to be. Grade 12 students will be learning about university and college applications. Ontario program students must go to the library, and IB students will be in the cafeteria. Grade 11 students will be completing the Jackson Vocational Interest Survey at Sigma Testing. Check your emails for details. Class locations will be posted on the main office window. Grade 10s will be in the gym for an assembly on cannabis and vaping. Grade 9s will be participating in academic follow-up with their link leaders on the first floor. Class locations will be posted on the main office window. Items of the lost and found will be in the atrium until Tuesday, October 29th. There will be a boys hockey interest meeting on Monday, October 21st at 11.55 in the drama room. This is mandatory for anyone wishing to try out for the team. See Mr. Crossett if you have any questions. Today's Feel Good Friday story is about 11-year-old Jonah Larson. Since the age of five, Jonah has been a crocheting prodigy. His skills have gotten him on the cover of Crochet World and an appearance on the Today Show. He has fans from all around the world who sent him supplies. Jonah was so surprised by other people's generosity that he decided to pay it forward by starting a fundraiser to build a library in his hometown in Ethiopia. So far, he has raised $20,000 by selling his creations and by just spreading the word. Remember to always pay it forward. That's, That's all from us today, CB. Here's your Friday show. Hey, CB. It's Maggie. And Rachel. And we're here to check out the Mac and Cheese Festival in front of City Hall. So let's go. I'm here with... Roy. Patrick. Vincent. Julie. So just tell me a little bit about how this came to be. Um, well, the city organizer was, organizes all kinds of events and he was kind of like looking at what's missing and I think like a grilled cheese slash mac and cheese event really wasn't hitting Ottawa yet. So he kind of like asked all the vendors he kind of knew and a lot of us do poutine as it is so we have like cheese experience as you could say. And um, yeah, he brought it together. We all thought it was a great idea and here we are today. So can you tell me something interesting about your stand? Just one interesting fact? Well, we, we, we reinvent Thai food and we basically put it in a poutine form. We had one time a taco and then now mac and cheese and then now it's the grilled cheese sandwich. You seem to have a lot of awards, so do you want to tell me a bit about them? Well, we got a couple of awards. So we have one for best looking guys, we got one for root beer, and we've got second place uh, trophy for Ottawa Poutine Feast, which was 17 vendors, that was a good award. We won Kingston and we won Sudbury. So we're two times award winning poutine. And we've been coming to Mac and Cheese now for four years here in Ottawa. And just tell me a little bit about how this stand came to be. Well, my husband had a vision and in January 2019, he woke up one morning and he said, I'm going to have a chip truck. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. So he quit his job and here we are today. So this is a fairly recent thing. Have you been around Ottawa anywhere so far? Yes, we did our first puts in fest here in Ottawa at the City Hall. It was amazing. It was our first time and it was really hectic for us. But our second event was in Orleans. We also did a puts in fest and out of 18 trucks we came in first. So which one would you recommend? Well we're smokers so we smoke. Uh, I have pulled pork, smoked chicken, smoked beef so the smoking ones we tend to go a little toward. This year, like one of my favorites is like the shrimp and steak. You know, it kind of speaks for itself. My favorite actually is the uh, red curry pineapple uh, mac and cheese. Today, um, I would recommend the spicy bacon mac and cheese. 
<laughs> Wait, look at that. <laughs> Guys, we got the goods. We finally ordered our food and we're about to have a taste test. First off, we got the steak and shrimp. I'm so hungry, I can eat cow. Next, we have the double smoked maple bacon. It's looking really good. Hey guys, I got the spicy one. It's looking kind of interesting, uh, very colorful. We have the Thai red curry shrimp mac and cheese. Looks fruity. Which before Nam finishes everything? Okay, on three, point out your favorite one. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. We're tie. Well, guys, that mac and cheese is really good, eh? But it's getting really breezy out, so we're gonna head on home now. Have a feta Friday! Friday.